Anthony Avalos was a 10-year-old Lancaster, Californian boy that on the surface appeared happy in many photos, but that was only masking his dark and sinister upbringing. He was a beautiful young soul that endured many years of anguish and suffering. His sadistic mother and brute of a boyfriend caused trauma and bleeding in his skull and body, resulting in his death on the 21st of June, 2018. Heather Barron, 29, and Kareem Lever, 33, remained in jail without bail in connection with his murder and will likely face the death penalty if found convicted. Both have pleaded not guilty. The abuse was rampant and occurred over many years. Evidence was also presented of extensive pain and suffering, isolation, chronic child abuse and stress, torture and mental abuse of Anthony Avalos. Amongst the summary of evidence includes graphic photographs, graphic videos, torture techniques, torture tools and more. The document also includes an allegation that Heather Barron knowingly left Anthony alone with a suspected child molester, leading to the boy's molestation in 2013. Barron and Lever watched pornographic videos and also performed sexual acts with each other in front of him. 16 calls were made to the Department of Children and Family Services since 2015. Maria Barron, his auntie, would often notice he was sprayed with bruises and reported it to authorities. The case was dropped after Anthony changed his original stories, likely under duress. He would confide in his grandmother when visiting her, telling of how he was burned with cigarettes and locked in a cupboard and wanted to stay with her. People outside of the family, including teachers, contacted Child Protective Services to no avail. Anthony's dad, Victor Avalos, who lives in Mexico, said he tried for years to get custody of his son. He begged Heather to release the child into his care, but she refused. Victor gave a heartbreaking account of the conversations he would have with his son over Skype and said Anthony wanted to live with him and after contacting child services, he was confident that they would contact him, but they never did. The accusations included starvation, denial of water and basic human necessities, physical abuse, being locked in small places for extended periods of time and denied access to the bathroom, being forced into physically fighting with other children, burned from head to toe dangled by his ankles out of a second story window, forced to dig through trash to find food, dragged around by his ears and being slammed into the floor, walls and furniture. He'll get picked up from his ankles and he'll be dropped onto his head repeatedly. They beat him with belts, a vacuum hose, a vacuum cord, including whipping the bottom of his feet. He was punched, had wrestled moves made on him, including chokeholds, and was slapped in the face. They tortured him by making him kneel on uncooked hard rice, causing him to bleed on the knees. Then Lever would push his feet against his knees to hurt more and then force him to clean up the mess. Hot sauce was poured on his face and mouth and he was force fed. He was locked in his room for days and they didn't provide him with any food or water. He was forced to hold books and weights and made him fight his siblings. If he had an accident because he was locked in his room and couldn't go to the bathroom, Lever would force Anthony to lay down face first in the pee. He would be made to do captain's chair, where one stands against the wall with knees bent like sitting in a chair. If he moved or cried, he would have to start all over again. And if he didn't do it right, he would have to do exercises from a workout list instead. Anthony was severely tortured by Lever and his mother during the last five or six days of his life. Some suspect that homophobia potentially played a part in his death because Anthony said he liked boys and came out as gay in the weeks prior to his death. Lever had mentioned on numerous occasions that he felt uncomfortable around gay men. Just a day prior to Anthony's death, a phone call was made by his mother to 911 after he wasn't waking up, after being dropped on his head about 10 times and looked frozen. Okay, and who needs our help today? What happened? My son, my son Okay. Okay, listen, does he have a fever? The coroner's report showed Anthony had bruises and abrasions all over his entire body, including around his face, his nose and his forehead. He had circular marks on his stomach and below his nipple, multiple abrasions on both knees and on his back, and contusions and scabs on all four of his extremities. 
He appeared to be thin with rib exposure. He had abrasions to his face, both knees, multiple bruises to the abdomen and hips, arms, buttocks, back, sunken eyes, and small circular burns. There was blunt force trauma to his head and his brain, and also multiple blunt force trauma to his body. Since his death, his family has lodged a $50 million lawsuit against the Los Angeles County Department of Children and Family Services, 